we really don't know the effect of removing the honeybees from the system, but especially for food production, they are very important to pollinate uh, large monocultures. So uh, we would have a little bit different diet, at least, if the honeybees disappeared. So the biodiversity is an important factor here. Several of the project partner countries have their own subspecies, which should be considered as, a, let's say, a national genetic treasure. This population in each partner country is usually adapted to the local conditions. However, the beekeeping is basically an economic operation. And as such, people often require certain properties of the colonies or the queens they're purchasing. And if such queens are not in the market, people will go abroad to purchase them. And here comes the reason for genetic erosion. The main purpose of this project is to provide uh, the bee breeders with uh, a toolbox to obtain mating control. Uh, we have four main possibilities to obtain the mating control. Uh, first, what we are doing in this apiary here is uh, geographical isolation. That means that we have no foreign drones here. Uh, another option is to have temporal separation. That means that we let out our queens and our selected drones late in the afternoon after the natural mating flights. The third option is to have large number of drone producing colonies, what we call drone swamping, so the other foreign drones are just outnumbered. The last final option is to use instrumental insemination, same methods as used for other livestock animals. We have selected two valleys in the Alps. One of them is already used by a beekeeper who is selecting in the breeding scheme. So we are basically joining our queens, checking with molecular tools how successful this method in this valley is. In the other valley, we are doing the comparison between before and then stage. So last year, we checked the area without drone producing colonies and this year we also added drone producing colonies of our own selection. So we will compare the results from last year with the results with this year. At the end of this operation we should get out a certain percentage or we should find out how many drones that made it with our queens were of our selection. So mainly approaches until now were to have controlled mating under some uh, conditions like mating stations on islands or in some valleys. And this is quite expensive for breeders and there is not a lot of places, uh, such places in our three countries. So we decided to use some new approaches, some novel approaches that could actually be used by breeders in our countries. Uh, what we are expecting from this is to finally uh, provide some tools, some practical tools, at least one or two, to our breeders and food producers, so they can achieve a uh, much higher controlled mating of their queens with drones from uh, desired colonies. Breeding programs for genetic improvement and conservation of the native Macedonica have been conducted for more than a decade in Macedonia. However, high colony density, limited access to isolated locations, finances and lack of experience are some of the aspects that challenge implementation of the mating control. Through our project, we conducted a number of field studies involving biological and geographical isolation for setting up the mating stations. But also we tested temporal isolation as a, an alternative of the traditional means of mating control. Our project inspired a beekeeping company 
to establish a lab for instrumental insemination, which is the first time that this method is going to be used as a systematic tool in Macedonia. The preliminary results encourage our team to finally provide a rational solution for introducing mating control in the honeybee breeding programs. As we wanted to check mating station success, we sampled drones, uh, worker bees and, and queens and we genotyped them all. The success of the mating stations was examined by how many worker bees from the mated queen originated from the co uh, drone producing colonies at the spot. Later we aim to uh, do some optimal mating control system specific for each beneficiary countries, accounting for their uh, specific population structure, number of the colonies and beekeepers involved. My message to the beekeepers, administrators and queen breeders is the following. First I would say keep bees with the local subspecies. The second thing is make sure that in your selection you're using one of the methods that would ensure the genetic progress of your local selection. And the third one to the administrators, please do support those steps when thinking about financing any selection program in honeybees. Supporting the mating station is a key thing this is the only way we can really make a difference and make our local subspecies attractive to the beekeepers and thus conserving or preserving the local gene pool.